The Tempest uh, is based on Shakespeare's work, The Tempest, uh, which is a, a early uh, 17th century piece. But uh, The Tempest, the opera, uh, is, a, is a relatively a new work. It's actually something that's been created at Covent Garden in 2004. The composer is uh, Thomas Addis, and uh, the very brilliant libretto is done by Meredith Oakes. So it's a very, very, very new production. The music is absolutely extraordinary, exquisite, it's exciting. And uh, what's fantastic about it is that both Thomas and Meredith has captured the magical aspect of the piece. It's a box full of magic tricks for myself and, and the company, the group of uh, designers. It's like a gift because we get to create all this magic. The interesting thing for us, myself and the designers, was to recreate the uh, 18th century Scala because uh, in this magic island, Prospero, against his will, was marooned with his daughter and uh, had to use the local knowledge and, and, and magic and magic that he had imported through his books to create his own world. And we thought, well, if he's from Milan, you know, in those days, what was the ultimate big box of magic? And of course, the Scala was quite an amazing piece of architecture and was a very, very magical place to set operas because it had all of the new state-of-the-art magic machinery. So that's what we kind of grabbed onto as an idea and to see, well, what if Prospero had surrounded himself with a scale size model of the Scala and played tricks on his enemies by staging different scenes. And so the audience actually gets to see the Scala of a scene from backstage, then from the audience's point of view, and then from the side. So you even see under the stage, you see the prompter's box, you see all of the workings of Prospero. Kim Barrett is an Australian costume designer. She does this amazing imaginative costume designs. It is a piece for her because it is about going from more of a native Aboriginal culture of the island and see how that is brought into the Baroque world of the Italians of that time. When we started doing the workshops, a lot of acrobats and dancers were present, and I think we have some beautiful acrobatic things happening that come in and complete the magical powers of some of the characters. Simon is such an extraordinary stage actor. He knows how to convey these extraordinary emotional and psychological states. He's also a very physical singer. He's somebody who's worked with dancers before. So physically, he, he has an extraordinary presence. He's somebody who sings with all his body. <laughs> And I think that that's the thing about The Tempest that's so great musically, visually, at all sorts of levels. It's, it's a very, very colorful, organic piece. Mm -hmm. 